First of all, just thoughts on the game. How did you think it played out? Yeah, you know, we led from uh, opening tip uh, for the entire game. I was just pleased that we kept our composure. Uh, you know, we broke down a little bit in the last two minutes uh, with some defensive assignments. And, you know, uh, last two minutes of a game when a team's down double digits, they start jacking up shots, they feel good, they start falling. And, uh, you know, the last minute or two of a game when you're up by a couple, that's the toughest time to defend because you don't want to foul and everybody's putting their head down and driving the ball to the rim. So uh, I thought we did some nice things. We had some, uh, some nice contributions from... Uh, some freshmen, some upperclassmen. It was it was a good, well balanced effort and uh, a good win against a good team. Uh, they were in the NCAA tournament last year. They played Detroit, who's tremendous, tough the other night, and uh, we knew it was going to be a dogfight, and it was. You talk about this weekend, pleased to come out two and one. I mean, obviously three and zero would be ideal, but to get two wins yeah, is, is nice. Three and zero would have been ideal, but uh, after watching Detroit and Robert Morris play the other night, I was scratching my head, going, uh, "We better get Alcorn State uh, on the opening night." And, you know, but uh, it's a unique format, three games in three days. We're the only team the last two days that used our shoot-around time. We took our brought our guys on the floor. Uh, we went over scouts, ran through other team sets. I guess the rest of the teams just were hanging out in the hotel trying to keep the, the legs fresh for three games in three days. But, you know, we pride ourselves in our preparation. I wanted to make sure our guys were prepared. Will you be glad that there isn't a 3-3 three and three coming up? Will these guys use this rest? They'll enjoy having a little time off? Well, they're off tomorrow and because I have a prior engagement on Tuesday. We're not practicing until 8.30 p.m. So they've got, uh, they've got some time uh, for themselves to relax. And we're heading to Disney. I mean, we're leaving uh, Wednesday for Florida, so our guys will have an opportunity to, uh, you know, relax and enjoy themselves. We've just got to continue to get better each day. Uh, we need our veterans to be rock solid. I've said that over and over because we need to allow our uh, freshmen and young kids to make some mistakes. It can't be the other way around. And uh, if you watch us long enough, you can see we've got some young kids that are talented, and uh, we need to be able to guide them and let them grow, and we need our veterans to carry us right now. You talked about going out of Disney. Do you talk to me a little bit about the Florida trip? But not only that, but it's going to be a long time before you get to play in your building again, too. You're on the road for a while now as well. No, absolutely. The road warriors, you know, build up those frequent flyer miles so I can take my wife on vacation. <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, you know, in all seriousness, uh, one of our biggest biggest weaknesses was winning games on the road and in, uh, in conference play last year. So uh, once you get the conference play, everybody's zero and zero. So it's a new season. So there's going to be some challenges the rest of the way. Very difficult non-conference schedule. Uh, it's going to challenge this team mentally and physically. We're heading down to play in Central Florida, Florida on Saturday, Conference USA team in the same league with Memphis. They've already beaten UMass pretty good and uh, they've beaten Auburn from the SEC. Very difficult game for us. Then a couple days later we're going to Boca and play in uh, Florida Atlantic who I believe is two or three and one right now and playing well. Well, Robert Morris, a team that scored over 100 last time out, what did you do to neutralize that club? Well, we needed to play this game in a half court. Unless we had something easy in transition, we really needed to get through our offense and force them to guard us and uh, not allow their athletes and their quickness to have a major impact on this game. And I thought we frustrated them and bothered them a little bit, a bit and played somewhat methodical and made it more of a slugfest than a uh, you know, 94 feet up and down game that the fans would probably like a little more, but all we're concerned about is W's. I'd rather, you know, score 60 or 70 points and win than score 100 and lose. So we just had to control tempo.